Europe is one of the most drastically developing continents in the world, and thanks to the European integration present on the continent and the subsidies provided by it, significant development could begin and investments of several billion dollars could be realized. From multi-billion dollar highways passing through bays to many Dubai and older cities, these are Europe's biggest mega projects in the future. Number 10. Olympic Games 2024 but the most current project of the video is the Paris 2024 Olympic Games, which will be held in a few months this year. Paris was last honored to host the biggest sporting event 100 years ago, and now it can host 15 million visitors. Despite the fact that for reasons of environmental conservation, only one complex will be created, which will use all kinds of renewable technologies. This is due, among other things, to the energy crisis affecting Europe. In total, only three buildings were built for the new Olympics, a media center, an aquatic center and the athletes' village, which, according to the organizers, will be completed on time after many delays. After the Games, 6,000 people will be able to live in the village built in the poorest region of France. The construction of these buildings is largely finished, but transportation is a huge concern. The transport infrastructure in Paris already serves 12 million people, and 15 million more visitors are now added to it. In addition, the terrorism present in the city is also a big problem, so thousands of soldiers and policemen will take care of security on the streets. Roughly 10 billion euros will be spent on the project, which will be a very expensive investment for the city. Number 9. Frankfurt International Airport Frankfurt Airport is one of the busiest airports in Europe with an annual traffic of 60 million passengers. However, traffic would increase even further, but there is a problem. The airport is not big enough and needs further expansion. The German government plans to spend $4 billion on expansion, but what exactly does that include? Terminal 3 will significantly increase the airport's capacity, namely 90 million people per year, and it will be able to accommodate 75 airplanes. In addition, the airport Skyline train would be extended to Terminal 2 and to the airport train station. If everything goes according to plan, it will be completed by 2026, but construction has already begun and even the 2020 crisis caused by the coronavirus, which caused great damage to aviation, did not stop it. Another important part of the project will be the creation of parking lots, as at the moment this number is very limited and apparently there is not enough parking at the airport. Number 8. Mini Dubai and Budapest Imar is a real estate development and management company from the United Arab Emirates, which already decided in 2014 to start building business districts in European cities. The first of these was implemented in Belgrade, Serbia, where the project itself caused a great outrage. But in November 2023, Mohamed Alaber, the founder of Imar, announced that a skyscraper district would be built on the site of an old train station in Budapest. It is important to know that Budapest skyline is a World Heritage Site, and there are strict construction restrictions in some areas of the city center. The Mol campus, the tallest building in the country so far, caused a lot of outrage in itself due to its height of 143 meters, and now buildings 220 to 240 meters high would be created specifically in the city center. By itself, it would create 10,000 new apartments, and it would also improve traffic in the area by rearranging the M1 metro line and the Hungaria Boulevard. The price of the project would be roughly $5 billion, of which $1 billion would be paid by the Hungarian government, and somehow it would be ready by 2026. Number 7. Stadtship Tunnel One of the most special mega-projects in the world is coming up, namely in Norway. Previously, ships could only make their passage by going around the Stanland Depp Peninsula in a sea with huge storms and bad weather conditions. The project known as the Stott Ship Tunnel, which would be the world's first ship tunnel, would offer a solution to this. Although such a project has not yet been built anywhere, Norway would be willing to build such an investment with a total value of $350 million. Construction of the 1,800-meter-long tunnel has already begun and will be completed by 2026. But let's talk a little about its structure. Its height would be 49 meters, while its width would be 37 meters. As the fact has been established for many criticisms, the ships can pass through the tunnel without accidents. Even the largest ships and freighters can pass through it. Number 6. Norway Coastal Highway Let's not go far from Norway, as transportation is also a big problem on its coasts rich in fjords. 
not for ships, as these roads are very favorable for them, it is more about road transport. The 47 billion euro project would run for 1,100 kilometers along the coast of Norway. It would take 21 hours to cover the entire route. In any case, it would be built with the most interesting, never before seen architectural technologies, with bridges, undersea tunnels, bore tunnels and much more. Among other things, the longest bridges would be 4 kilometers long but would include a 27-kilometer bore tunnel, which would be the project's longest tunnel. It is important to build and design the bridges in such a way that the significant ship traffic of the fjords can pass under them. For this reason, the submerged floating tunnel technology is most often used, which does not hinder traffic at all and can be built much more efficiently than drilled tunnels. If at some point the project A is handed over in several parts, the first of these was already done in 2022, but active development of the project is not very typical these days. Number 5. Istanbul Canal The Bosphorus is one of the world's busiest shipping routes through Istanbul, and now Turkey is looking to reduce traffic. This would be solved by creating an artificial waterway to the west of the site, up to 160 ships will be able to pass through it every day. Turkey generates an annual profit of $8 billion from traffic passing through the Bosphorus, so the $10 billion price of the new canal would be recouped in a few years. In addition, it would practically create a new island between Europe and Asia, which is also an interesting point about the project. Construction started in 2021 and will probably be completed within five years. This will mean a new income and innovation for Turkey. Number 4. Energy Islands of Denmark Despite being built offshore, it will actually be a wind farm. The project, known as Energy Islands, is being built in Denmark and will be delivered by 2030 in the Black Sea or the Baltic Sea, but the location of the project is not yet certain. A key part of the project will be an artificial island around which the turbines will be built. These will be able to supply 10 million households with green, renewable energy. Energy will be stored or converted into other forms such as shipping, aviation or heavy industry on the island. The project will cost $34 billion, arguably the most expensive energy production project on Earth, but this price will be financed by private companies in addition to the Danish government. The construction is currently uncertain, but if it is successful, Denmark is confident that other countries will follow the example of the construction. Number 3. Grand Paris Express Paris was already mentioned once in the video. But in addition to the 2024 Olympic Games, a larger project is also being built. And this time, it would make the city's traffic a notch better and faster. This project, known as the Grand Paris Express, is one of the most expensive infrastructure developments in the world with a price of 36 billion euros. Although the city's subway network is now so complex that building new subway lines in the city center is almost impossible, so the city prefers to extend the older ones. The new project therefore includes two older extensions and four new constructions, but also in the suburbs of Paris. 90% of the lines will run underground, so various works such as tunneling have already begun. The project is planned to be handed over gradually until 2030, but some sections may also be ready for the Olympics, due to the previously mentioned problems. But it seems that within a few years, Paris will implement this amazing mega-project. Number 2. High-Speed Railway, United Kingdom The next project on our list is being built in the UK. This time it will be a very complex railway development, which can be divided into three large projects. High-Speed 1 opened in 2003 and stretches 110 kilometers between France and London, but the 6.7 billion pound project is commonly known as the Channel Tunnel. High-Speed 2, the most expensive of the three with a total price of 100 billion pounds, will be a railway between London and central Great Britain, connecting cities such as Birmingham, Manchester or Leeds. The project is very complex and will be handed over in stages between 2029 and 2033 but they started construction in 2017 after many political scandals and apparently it will take a long time to build. And High Speed 3 would connect the aforementioned cities, but this time not with London, but between each other. The key element of the project would be the line between Liverpool and York, which would speed up transport between the cities, unlike the previous non-high speed rail, and would also create new connections that do not yet exist. The price of the three projects would be £140 billion, and the third project will be fully completed by 2040. Number 1. Trans-European Transport Network By the way, 
the second most expensive mega project in the world, the advantage of which will be enjoyed by European Union countries, will also be a project to improve transportation, with railway lines, highways, new ports, and urban infrastructure development. This also strengthened the social integration of the European Union and aggravated trade and goods. All this would cost 500 billion euros, but the projects are already progressing, and let's look at a few more important key projects. One of these is the ScanMed Corridor, which connects the north with the Mediterranean Sea for 5,000 kilometers. A key part of this route will be the strait between Germany and Denmark, where a special tunnel will be created under the sea. But the other such important mega-project, for example, is being built between northern Italy and France, which is difficult because it will run across the Alps. Because of this, we have to drill a tunnel with great difficulty, which results in further cost increases. The completion of the entire project is uncertain, but in the following decades the first results are already visible. As you can see, Europe wants to implement huge projects in the next few years, if you enjoyed this video please support our channel with a subscription. Thanks for watching, see you in the next time.